In a specific topic of the Singapore bus industry, we have the right to voice out our opinions. Our thoughts, suggestions, and ideas are essential for everyone to hear. It's for our future public buses, good amendments, and withdrawals. We should not be keeping quiet, but brave in our voices. Got anything to share, thoughts, or suggestions? This is Hashtag Debate. In this week's episode of Hashtag Debate, DMU will discuss a rather popular topic over the recent incident at Flora Road last Sunday. It means the admin thought, are our public transport staff being protected and abused by the public members? As a former public transport staff, DME will share with you some of the pointers of the MS experience and from the recent incident. Last Sunday, a Mercedes driver was on bail for $5,000 for being a public nuisance to an SBS Transit bus captain. If he is found guilty, he will get a $2,000 fine. To most of you, you will find it even more ridiculous over the charges by the law that they will give to the driver. By comforting the bus captain, damaging someone else's property, and delay everybody's time for $2,000 if found guilty. Where does the problem lie? Before today, a few cases involved abusing our public transport staff. However, the NTWU, LTA, and the police mentioned the first two cases in early 2017 where they physically abused one bus captain from Service 93 and the other two on Service 129 separately. To then, more verbal and physical abuse cases were raised over the years, especially to our public bus captain and train staff. So there were more cases but yet to mention in the newspaper article. Out of this, most of them chose to be silent and not report. But why would they do that? Case by case basis, if any cases involve being a victim of abuse, they will likely not be allowed to continue their duty until the investigation is complete. Therefore, their salary will halt, going in and out of the management office to follow up on the case. Some victims that the enemy had encountered over the last four years were instead keeping quiet than raising the issue with the relevant authority and their supervisors. To some bus captains that the enemy has spoken to, the union were very slow at follow up the abuse cases. Customer is always right, it's the most powerful mindset in our country leaving the ones that run the public transport network the silent victim. The ME has experienced physical abuse twice in the same year. But did the ME raise my voice afterwards? Leave your answers down below. Although the same consequences are heavy, the reality of punishment to the abuser is very light. In most past cases, a fine of up to $5,000 and at least a 3 weeks to 4 months jail. However, in this case, a $2,000 fine if the Mercedes driver is found guilty. Would you think that it is fair to future abuse cases such as this? How do we put the welfare of public transport staff that protest them from getting abused? Leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching.